be prepared for one of the worst pronunciations in history. Hola, and welcome to Bilyal Cathar. That's not how it's pronounced, I'm sure of it. Um, but uh, looking at the spelling and looking at how four different people have tried to explain to me how to pronounce it, um, that's as best I could do. Um, we arrived here a couple of hours ago and we have just had the best time here at the Alberga. The host is an absolute legend and we've just enjoyed every second of it so far and hoping for another good night's sleep. But we haven't actually seen much of the town itself. Um, as soon as we got here, we arrived and we collapsed on our beds. Um, but just coming out here for a split second to film this, it looks beautiful. So clean, so, so big. And there's a cathedral just over there, which has a mammoth stained glass window, which I'll hopefully be able to check out tomorrow morning. But yes, good night's sleep is needed. Um, but we'll definitely be going to sleep with a full belly. Uh, so one of the pilgrims, a uh, Colombian guy, uh, cooked up this huge feast uh, for everyone. Uh, one of his native dishes, I think. Um, and there were Germans, uh, there was a Swede, there were a bunch of Italians, uh, and of course, yeah, the Colombians. So multiculturalism uh, at its finest here on the Camino. So going into this stretch along the Mazetta, we were warned for lots and lots and lots of wheat and agricultural land. Um, and while there has been some, certainly some, uh, packs <laughs> full of wheat, it hasn't been too bad. We were bracing ourselves for being inundated with uh, flowing golden uh, fields of yellow, but it's been, it's been pretty cruisy. We've had a good couple of hills, lots of cities, lots of green actually. There was even a plantation forest that we walked past and a, ma a massive channel that was flowing water to one of the nearby towns. So it's been very easy so far. Although I have been warned uh, over dinner that tomorrow uh, is going to be a little bit gross. <laughs> um, uh, the host actually mentioned that he's done the Camino about 13 or 14 times and this next bit he said why do they even put it in? Can we go around? Can we just catch a bus? So if a guy who's done it that many times is disinterested then yes then tomorrow I think will be a little bit more of a struggle. So we're tossing up uh, whether or not to get up early tomorrow <sighs> one of the pilgrims has offered a yoga class um, and you don't want to see me try and do yoga. Um, so I might, get a, I might get a little bit of a sleep in, hopefully. Fingers crossed, um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if that comes to fruition. Um, but yes, today was an enjoyable day, actually. The weather was pretty cool. There were m lots of scattered clouds. So yeah, it was, it was very, very cruisy, which you can't often say that about a 28 kilometer day through wheat fields, but yeah. Today was a good one. Hopefully, tomorrow will be even better. But we'll see. Talk to you then. Catch ya.